take him out quick. I'll take him out. Alright, welcome back to the Callus Waterbuck Wall. Zero fire bottles? I had so much! I should get back to Hank. Okay, well that was easier than expected. I did lose a lot of health. I got no med kits. Okay. Yep. Hank, Hank, you dead? Are you okay? I got shot in the stomach, but I think I will be fine. Um, no, I don't think you, you will. You are bleeding, Hank. We gotta get you fixed up. I'm pretty sure Bishop is hurt. Hold tight, Steph. Damn. Lean on me. Let's get you to the military base. You will make it, Hank. Does you he, will make does it. Does he not realize it's just a LOA base? Like, why would he tell him of another base? That has to be base Erma. Hold on, Hank. We are almost there. Help! Help! You gotta help us. He is hurt. Come on, Hank. Just a little bit more. Brother Hank, he is wounded. Please help us. We got ambushed by the co-artists. Please. Thank you. Thank you so much. We made it, Hank. Thank God we made it. You're lucky you brought him here just in time. He has lost a lot of blood, but he should be okay for now. All right. You have come all this way from Cape Waterbuck to Ermine County, and you carry Chief Hank until you reach our base to save his life. What an exceptional citizen and brother you are, Cam. Thank you, Commander Cole. It is my duty. The last few weeks have been difficult for us here in Ermine. There have been more and more attacks from the Coatis. 
We just fought a very large callous horde yesterday and lost many valuable men. The weather conditions seem to be getting worse as well. Winter has just arrived and we are already low on some supplies and medical equipment. You are welcome to stay here, Cap. We will keep on trying to survive. But you should know the future for Emmai looks very grim. I understand, Commander Cole. I'll try to help as best as I can. Hey, maybe I can finally defend people. I really only defended uh, people once, and that was the straight battle, which of course none of you probably knows about that. Assuming I can never... Hank! Brother! Hank, it's so good to see you alive! You carried me all this way. And saved me, brother. I couldn't just leave you there. You are my brother. And now we are even. Uh-huh. Really? I guess you're right, brother. Oh, yeah. The... How do you feel? Everything hurts. You should rest, my brother. You will get better soon, trust me. We still have that fishing trip planned, remember? You bet. Really looking forward to it, brother. Mr. Camp, can we talk? Oh, that's a of course. I'm Olivia Healer, senior doctor at Air Mine Military Base. We have managed to stop your brother's bleeding. He is doing well for now, but his condition can worsen very quickly if untreated. What do you mean? The bullet hit him between his right kidney and stomach. We have cleaned up the wound as best as we could, but couldn't get the bullet out yet because we don't have the medical supplies for the surgery. It might cause serious infections if we don't get it out as soon as possible. Is there anything I can do, Dr. Olivia? We have many wounded after the Koati attacks, and especially after what happened yesterday. With our low supplies, we eventually won't be able to treat everybody. We need new medical supplies urgently. Is there anywhere where one can find such supplies? Yep, there, there used to be a hospital in the outskirts of Martin City, which is a few kilometers away from here. I don't know what is left of it after many years, but I hope it might have the stuff we need. I might be able to go there and take a look. It's better than staying here and waiting, right? You might save many lives, including your brothers, if you do decide to go. Me and my staff would be very grateful for your help. What's needed, Doc? Let me see. We need clean for sept scalpels, retractors, and antiseptic agents for the surgeries. You can find most of these in the surgery department. If there is one, of course. If you happen to find unused syringes and antibiotics, those will come in handy as well. Understood. Where's this hospital located? After you leave the base, follow the road and head northwest. You should reach the hospital eventually. Thank you for helping Hank and others. Lots of lives are counting on you, Mr. Camp. Please be safe. I wonder when this military base is gonna overrun and die. <sighs> it's gonna happen, we all know it. Alright. Ah? Uh, a hideout? I'm out of bullets in this one. So the story is medical equipment. Oh, there's a spider. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I, di I didn't realize there's a special uh, cursor. I forgot about it. Anyways, look at that. A spider. It's climbing all around. Let's just watch it and see what happens. Nah. You'd think you see more spiders in this type of setting. Wait, what? Where's the spider over there? Okay, so what do I want to... Actually, uh, let's see. What do we got here? We got a difficult, difficult, and 
tense. I think I'll head to the ski resort. I will bring... Uh... You know what? Let's try out the shader. Johnson Plaza. We can see the ski resort in close proximity to Johnson Plaza. Hopefully there are some gears around there. Tells me the inventory is full. Also, um, I decided to do each mission. So, um, sorry, uh, no, 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 I'll keep going. Sorry, uh, I was, I was, I was thinking, I was thinking about. away from the old quays. I believe there might be a lot of new attachments. Who's we? Let's get out of here. Whoop! Swap an 
ain't that great. the damage. Now I know the shader's damage is so low. Never noticed that. The protector has more damage than these combined. That's crazy. Consider the shader is terrible. I don't think protectors. an office building and close to the final route. It seems like we can scavenge some okay. Oh, what the
six ammo, seven more, twelve. This was a lot, but the damage is low. How I even can I buy? Yeah, there's a damage modifier which might give me. go to the possible medical equipment. We have managed to reach base Ermite after a tiresome journey. Hank and other soldiers are heavily injured. The doctor said there's a hospital with medical supplies with a few kilometers away. Alright, let's do it. The weather is starting to get really cold. Is it now? I don't know which way to go. Oh, what? That liner. Oh, those gears? Safety of the family. Alert night and they're shooting. Feels like I could hear the shots getting closer and closer in the past days. The least I could do is stay up and make sure everyone's protected. I'm still concerned for our safety, so I told the kids we might have to go on a little trip in a few days. Marfa also says she will be coming with us. The kids really like her and it makes me happy to see them smiling so much. Someone says, gratitude. I can still remember very well. One second I was resting under a tree, the next second I'm surrounded by the callus. I know I had no other choice than to run away from those creatures. So, I ran, I ran as fast as I could deep into the forest. I was lost and scared. My escape has made us stray further from each other. But at least I'm grateful to be alive, Mark. This family I'm with, they helped and kept me company. It is so refreshing to find people with still a bit of humanity left. We will be going further north together. Hopefully you are too Mar Wait a minute! Marfa? Wait, I just realized this is the Marfa from the uh, other hide that we were at. That uh, hotel. What? I did not realize that. <laughs> I thought Marfa was the name of his wife. <laughs> Gears. So yeah, they they were. I feel like there's this whole story with Marfa and uh, Mark. So apparently Marfa went to rest to a tree, and then she got separated. Ah, uh, the train. There's the hospital, but there could be yep. stuff over here. Yep. I have to go all the way back, okay. No, nah, there's a short oh well, never mind. I do want to check over here though. There could still be things. I think this is the place to check.
This must be like a train station. Whoop. There is bound to be loot up here, right? Oh, but that's interesting. How do I... Yep. Why is there a void? How do I get over there? Whoop! Huh. Martin City General Hospital. This is the place. Avoid. There's gotta be something on this. Are you kidding me? That's it. But it's nothing on this train. Huh. Before I enter and uh, activate the callous invasion. Palace might be in this building somewhere because of the winter. They might have some sort of weakness to it. Because where are the odds the Callus don't show up on the trip to uh, the Ermine military group? See the concerns. The guards got attacked by another group of Callus yesterday. This is the third time this week, and it was a serious incident. Yet no one seems to be concerned about the safety of the hospital and the lab. Everyone has gotten so used to living here that they almost forget why we came here in the first place. Which was to be safe. Got a med kit. I think that's for me. Now, why did they people leave? What? It's number three. So why do I find the rest? Kalias Minutebudas does not have a conventional central nervous system. However, does have extremely precise sensory organs, enabling the detection of living organisms in other callus. Lacking pain receptors, coupled with an insistent drive to find nutrients, these entities exhibit relentless pursuit behaviors. Notably, observations reveal instances of callus sneaking up on prey, hiding and even strategically grouping and overwhelming certain prey. Further investigations are important for determining their complex group behavior. Oh, so that's me right now. I'm the prey. I heard a callus. I thought they were about to storm in. I think they're waiting for a plot um, thing, so huh. I'm safe for now, I guess. Yep. Uh oh. Research. Our research in this hospital has been going on for around five months. We learned so much about these creatures, and I feel like we're getting closer to something big. However, it is still a mystery to me how we, how are we having so many incidents of the callus breaking? 
in nowadays. There will be another security meeting with Professor John this evening. He said it was very important. We'll see how that goes. Well, I guess it didn't go well. So everyone died. Check those rooms. If I could check here. And this is why. Gears. <laughs> that, that place seems Whoop. important. Mm -hmm. New weapon. Slipper. How is that a weapon? Callus Research 1. With their devastating impact, decimating a significant 78% of the human population, the Global Callus Research Task Force, oh, the GCRT, was founded with the primary objective of conducting comprehensive research into the Callus phenomenon and implementing strategies for containment and control. So, did they actually cause the outbreak? Because of their experiments? Our preliminary Assessments of Callus Manibundus initially suggested a predatory disposition. However, it has come to light that these entities exhibit characteristics more akin to multicellular organisms that are closer related to plants. Their parasitic nature does not aim to affect potential hosts, but rather feast on them to get nutrients required for efficient and rapid reproduction. That one must have died by starvation. So, they work like plants. Uh oh. I'm concerned that there's a lot of ammo being found. Usually when a lot of ammo is being found, that's when you know something big is about to happen. You know, like a boss fight. Which I don't think is gonna... I don't think there's boss fights in this game, is there? Oh gosh. Is there boss fights? <laughs> is this the last one? No, mutations. For the past few years, we have always observed an increase in callous mind abundance. Bodas. But numbers in winter. Uh oh, in winter. And this year was not different. Fighters Hospital gave us the opportunity to finally get our hands on advanced medical equipment. After our deeper research, the genetic results are concerning. It seems like there are some new mutations occurring in the callus DNA. There are no patterns. There are no related causes. Our best guess is that after roaming the world free for such a long time, they're trying new strategies to adapt to the environment. We might not be safe here anymore. I will, I will order other researchers to start the moving pro process. Professor Adam. Uh -huh. What do you mean not safe here anymore? Have, have they learned to open doors? Have I looked over here? What if, did I look over here? Yeah, I uh oh. I think a big one's gonna drop. Story activated, it's waiting for me to enter. Oh! 
find something in there. It's a diverse genus comprising more than 200 parasitic plant species. The eyes contain carotenoid pigments, which give them a red ephoral glow. Combined with a rudimentary echolocation ability, they're able to see relatively well in low light areas. Corolophia absence forces them to depend on parasitism. Sorry. This metabolic adaptation gives them the ability to grow rapidly in dark locations with scarce nutrition. They possess a rigid exoskeleton made of protein and chitin. The exoskeleton is made up of several thick layers and covered with a thin layer of wax to reduce loss of water. Yep. It looks normal up there. Scalpel tractor syringes. That's I should get back as quickly as possible. Hoop. Yep. Yeah. Yep.
gotta get out of here! This is what happens when they make moss. Whoop. I'll start getting chased. Yeah, I should have checked that up the uh, upstairs. Mr. Kemp, you have arrived. I got the supplies you need. How's my brother doing? His situation has gotten worse. You might want to see him. Here we go, his death scene. Kemp, you are back. I got everything they need to help you heal Hank. You will make it. Hold on. Listen to me, Kemp. My time is running out soon. Yep, Don't say is. that, Hank. You will survive. I know you will. Nope, he Don't does. Don't make this difficult for yourself, Kemp. Listen to me. I want to let you know. You are the best brother one could wish for. I am so proud of you, Ken. Hank! When I'm gone, I want you to continue to be kind and honest. In a world like this, everyone needs more kind people. Then he dies. Sorry for your loss. He was a good man, Mr. Camp. He will be remembered. By who? When it is appropriate to do so, I invite you to have a meeting. We have some new and important information to share. the video on that black screen. Of course. Sit down, please. I have called this meeting to inform you that we gained insight about the man who led Mr. Camp into the trap, Marcus. He is one of the key individuals in the rebellious group, the Coates. As you know, the same group that attacked MI military base numerous times and captured several military equipment. He has his own set of men, presumably those that ambushed Mr. Camp at the subway station, possibly more. Marcus plays an important role. He travels to neighboring cities so that he can get new recruitments for the co -artists. He must have seen the breach of the water block wall as an opportunity for more people to rebel against the military and join their group. Mr. Camp, would you like to add anything in particular? What can I say? Today has been unreal. Marcus and the co artists must be stopped at all costs. Sir, it's another co artist attack. They just attacked the outer perimeter wall and damaged the west gate. Our men are fighting outside as we speak. How many of them are there? We have counted at least 50 people and three vehicles. It's the biggest group we have seen yet, sir. This must be an organized attack. I will order all the troops to take your fish. We will stand our ground no matter what. Get in position, soldiers, and let's defend our home! Why did the AI voice change? Well, 
that'll be it for this video. See you in the next video for the base attack. Goodbye, and have a fun time.